Praise the Lord, Facebook friends out there, and also praise the Lord to you YouTube viewers. My name is Minister Felicia Applewhite. I am up under the leadership of Bishop David G. May in advance to divine name. I'm here at Mount Moriah at 892 Clawfield Southwest. Won't you come and join us for Sunday service at 11 a.m.? Some of you have seen me last week. Well, I'm here again. At, uh, thank you and welcome you for coming to another segment of Word Work in You. We believe that when you allow the Word of God to work in you, it will work for you. I just kind of want to recap about what we talked about last week. We talked about walking in agape love, walking in the love that God wants us to walk in. And I hope that some of you was challenged by the video that I did last week and that you walk in agape love. Today, we're going to talk about the joy, the spirit of joy, amen? And today, my husband's going to be bringing you a word. So I want you to listen to that word, allow your heart to be open for change, amen? At this time, I give you my husband, Reverend Apple. Well, praise the Lord, uh, Facebook Live, and as well as our YouTube viewers, today we are going to be talking about uh, the uh, fruit of the Spirit, joy. Uh, let's read over the scripture of uh, last week, and that is, uh, it is Galatians. And it is uh, 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, love, love, and joy. And so we're, today we're going to be talking about joy. Last week, I believe my wife talked about love. Today, we're going to be talking about joy. Uh, and the first thing that you need to know about joy is, uh, is that joy comes from the uh, Greek word, Chula, which means uh, supernatural delight or rejoicing or inner gladness. Uh, so joy, what you need to know about joy, joy is a supernatural divine gift from God that brings about happiness or exuberance to the believer. Uh, joy is not, it's not an emotional experience. It's not based on your emotion. It's a fruit of the spirit. Of what spirit? The spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. The, when you are saved, the Bible says that uh, God gives you uh, gifts. He puts things inside of you. Uh, and one of those uh, fruits that uh, and, and that we can tell by the fruit uh, is, is joy. Um, so joy is not based on your emotional experience. Uh, it is based it is not based on how you feel or, or what you experience day or time in life. That day or time in life. Uh, that, your emotional experience, is called happiness. Because happiness says, whatever happens to me that uh, day, whether it is good or bad, determines my mood. So uh, uh, happiness you can turn happiness off and on. It depends on your mood. It depends on what side of the bed that you got up on. Uh, some of you may have uh, got up on the wrong side of the bed this morning, and you decided, Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna act the way that I feel. Amen. And so, joy is not that. Uh, you know what true joy is? Joy says, no matter what happens, good, bad, wrong, or right, I still have this exuberant delightful a spirit in me uh, called joy. And uh, I can be happy in the worst of circumstances and when I uh, when I uh, draw from that joy, it gives me strength to make it uh, just another day. So the Bible says the joy of the Lord is your strength. That in that your exuberance, no matter what circumstances, you can be going through the worst circumstances, you can be going through the worst things in life, uh, you can be going through the worst trials in life, but how do, you can still have that joy no matter how you feel. It is not based on uh, you being sick in your body, it's not based on how somebody treats you wrong, it's not based on broken hearted, uh, uh, you can change your mood on that. Some days you can be happy, 
some things can you can you'll you'll be sad. That's called happiness. But joy says uh, God has put this innate ability for you to be exuberant and delightful and happy on the inside, no matter what happens. That's why you can see some people that will shine through no matter what. They can be, you can know that they're in the worst of circumstances. You can know that they lost a loved one, that they're sick in their body. You can know that something's not going right in their life. And you see them and you know this, but uh, uh, you understand that uh, they have the joy of the Lord inside of them. And so joy says, I'm, I'm going to choose to be happy. I'm going to choose to be delightful. And I'm going to delight myself in the Lord no matter what. And so uh, uh, happiness is temporary. Uh, what you got to know, happiness is temporary, but joy is eternal. Just like the spirit of God is eternal. Happiness is temporary, but joy is eternal. Happiness is based on what we have in this life. Some people, uh, based on if you have a, a bad car or you get a, the next time you get a, a Escalade or you get a, a Navigator or something like that, then you happy, then you joy, then you driving down the street. Uh, uh, you don't want to drive down the street and show uh, that hooky all over the place, but then when you get your, your car and you put your man wheels on it and you, uh, uh, you put your... Uh, you put your, your, your uh, rims on it and you bump up the system, then you are happy. That, see, that's just happiness. Joy says, listen, I know that no matter what happens to me in this life, I'm delighted, I'm happy, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm exuberant. Why? Because God's presence is on the inside of me. And when I think about his goodness and what he's done for me, it just brings me joy. It, 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 help, it bubbles me up on the inside. And so uh, 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 you got to learn how to walk in God's joy. You got to learn how to walk in God's presence. And you got to learn that. Uh, and how you do that is that you pray. Amen. And you pray and you ask God for joy. Amen. You ask God to bring up that, that fruit of joy on the inside of you. Because there are times in our life where we're going to go through things. We're going to go through trials. Every, uh, every day is different from the next day. Every season is different from the next season. And so you got to learn how to walk in God's joy. And, uh, and you got to learn how to be delightful, exuberant, and happy no matter what. And see, that's, the Bible says, that's what gives you strength when you walk in His joy. Joy gives you strength. You might not want to get up in the morning and go to work. But when you think about how God has blessed you with a job, when you think about how God has blessed you with children and a husband or a wife or with family, then you get excited. Amen. You, you, you might have to drink some coffee. Amen. But all of a sudden, when you start thinking about God's goodness and what he's done in your life, then that brings about joy. So, my friends, I just want to let you know that the joy of the Lord is your strength. No matter what you're going through, you may be going through a sickness, you may be going through all kinds of trouble, you may not even be, uh, you may not even be going through anything right now, but you still need to operate on joy. Because when the trials and the impacts of life hit you, you're going to need that exuberance and delightfulness. You're going to need that rejoicing and that inner gladness, and that will help you to hold on to make it just a God bless you. Amen. And God keep you. Amen. It's my prayer. Amen. Just that little bit, I was getting happy. I was controlling myself and shouting all over the place. Did you hear what he said? He said, he said that happiness is temporary, but joy is eternal. Amen. The joy of the Lord is eternal. And so, you know, you need to grab onto the joy that God has gave you because the fruits of the Spirit are the attributes, are the characteristics of the God that we serve. And he wants us to walk in the joy of the Lord. Amen. I know it's a lot of things that's going on out here in the world, and you may find it hard to walk in the joy of the Lord. But if you know him as your promise keeper, if you know him as your miracle worker, if you know him as your way maker, it ain't going to be hard to walk in that joy. Amen. At this 
times we're going to have my son, amen, we're going to have my son, Jeremiah, he's going to play. He's going to play for you, a way maker, miracle worker, and promise keeper, amen, on the keyboard.
when you when you allow God to be the joy in the center of your attention, and when things happen and you pull on His strength, you really understand what having joy in the Lord is. See, I don't have to worry about what's going to happen to me tomorrow. I don't have to have worry about what's going to happen to me in this moment because the joy of the Lord, Hallelujah, is my strength. That's how I get get through the joy of the Lord, knowing that He was the Creator of all things. Amen. So I thank you once again for tuning in to World Working in You, where we believe that when you allow God to work, work in you, it will work for you. I want you to join us again next week for another segment of the Fruit of the Spirit. And thank you once again for tuning in. And remember, be blessed. I love you. And I challenge you this week, this week, if you're a person that worry a lot, I challenge you this week to walk in the joy of the Lord.